Hey guys, this is Ned406 from TGN.TV. Uh, just a quick message, guys. Uh, unfortunately, the Resto Shaman Guide is going to be a little bit delayed due to the fact that I totally screwed it up. And but you should have it shortly. Um, but instead, I've decided to cover all the Warlock specs and guides. I'm going to be doing some uh, damage uh, dungeons and possibly some PvP for you guys. And I'm gonna do Shaman vids, but um, the most important uh, bit of news probably is uh, as of tomorrow, the Rift open beta starts, and me and Chromar are gonna be doing vids there. He's gonna be covering all the Warrior Souls, and I'm gonna be covering the Mage. Uh, so check it out, YouTube, YouTube.com/slash TGN Rift. Great channel, good content, and I will see you there. Hey guys, this is Ned406 from TGN.TV and today I'm going to bring you a Warlock Guide. We are going to be covering the Affliction Warlock. I'm going to run you through glyphs, talents, spells, everything you could want. Okay, first of all, what is an Affliction Warlock? An Affliction Warlock is a Warlock that specializes on damages, damage over time spells and drains. It also has a few nifty features to help it. It is considered by quite a lot of people as one of the hardest specs to play in WoW, if not the hardest. It's certainly quite hard to master, but once you get the hang of it, it can be very rewarding. It's also extremely fun to play. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and take a look at the talents. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is talents, so let's open up the window. Uh, here is a Warlock that has newly refreshed his talents. You could imagine you've just gotten to 85, you had a respec so that you could put all your points into the DPS. But, uh, where should we go? I'm only going to do a brief overview of the talents because, well, then there's more time for the action stuff. But don't worry, it will be thorough. Uh, the first thing I should point out is the Affliction Mastery is Potent Afflictions, which increases the damage of your damage over time spells by a certain amount for every point of mastery you have. And the spell you get for choosing Affliction is called Unstable Affliction. It's just a powerful Affliction dot. Okay, let's have a look. Um, first thing I'm going to do, spend uh, points in Doom and Gloom. And Improved Corruption. Okay, we've got Soul Siphon and Jinx. And then Siphon Life. You definitely want to take these talents. Okay, we've then got Eradication. It gives you a small speed increase or a chance to whenever your corruption deals damage. Improve Life Tap. Uh, take two points in this, definitely. You. Yep, you definitely want that. Uh, okay, we've got Shadow Embrace. Definitely want that. Uh, Soul Swap. Definitely take that. Um, Death's Embrace. Yes, more damage when they're low health. Nightfall. And Soul Burn Seed of Corruption, yes. Everlasting Affliction, you want this. Pandemic, yes. And then you've got a point in Haunt. Now, we have nine unspent talent points, and we're going to put them in Destruction. We have Shadow and Flame here, which increase, uh, well, whenever you cast Shadow Bolt, uh, it applies a debuff to the target, a powerful debuff if they want this. Bane reduces the cast time of your Shadow Bolt, and uh, the rest of the three points, you're free to spend them whenever you want. Um, for more DPS, I get Dark Arts, increases the damage done by your Fell Hunter. Okay, that's maxed out talents. Now, let's have a look at the Glyphs. Okay guys, next up we have the Glyphs for Affliction. Let's take a look. Uh, now... The glyphs I use are Bane of Agony, increases the duration of your Bane of Agony by 4 seconds, you will definitely want that. Uh, Haunt, bonus damage increased by 3%, not a lot, but there's uh, not a lot else in here, you definitely want that. Um, there's quite there's a sort of choice here actually, some people prefer to use Corruption, which gives you a chance to make your next Shadow Bolt instant cast whenever you use Corruption, or Unstable Affliction, which reduces the casting time of your Unstable Affliction. Um, personally, I'd rather go for Unstable Affliction, because the proc chance on Corruption 
is it's just so small and you use unstable affliction a lot and the more time you can spend casting your drain life or shadow bolt the better the only other glyph that I've seen some people use is Lash of Pain, um, but this is when you use the Succubus pet, and I find the Fell Hunter actually is much more effective as Affliction. Okay, that's your major glyphs done. I mean your prime glyphs, sorry. Okay, in major, um, the rest are optional. Um, the ones I would recommend are Soul Swap. Yeah, yeah I'd definitely take this for Affliction. It gives Soul Swap a 10 second cooldown. Um, basically what Soul Swap does is it swaps your damage uh, over time spells from one target to another and it takes them away in the process but this glyph leaves them on so you can have two targets dotted up at once uh, definitely and also life tap as a fiction you're going to be using life tap quite a lot uh, I definitely take this glyph well worth it and ooh, I don't have it um, okay let's get rid of shadow flame take that bit of a buzzkill on my own guide, if I don't even have that. And minor glyphs are just, um, well, ever you want, there's there's none here that are uh, particularly important for affliction. Okay, next I'm going to go over the rotation and all spells you will need to use as an affliction warlock. Okay guys, here comes the wonderful part of the vid, where me and the raiders training dummy have a stare off. Nah, I'm just kidding, I wouldn't bore you guys with that. I'm going to tell you everything you're going to need to know as an Affliction Warlock for DPS. All these spells, everything. Okay, let's go ahead and start with buff. Okay, here we've got Fell Armor, which is a straight spell power increase. You definitely want this. Soul Link, you share a certain amount of damage with your pet. And then, we have Dark Intent. This is a very important spell for Affliction. Um, what you do is you link yourself to your target and increase both of your haste by 3%. And whenever your target gets a crit from a periodic damage or healing effect, so a dot or a hot, you get a bonus to your periodic damage and healing uh, for like 7 seconds, that's it. And this stacks up to 3 times. So. This is really important as a fiction as you can imagine. Um, so if you're in a group, you will want this on, say, a Resto Druid, Shadow Priest, or another Affliction Warlock. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to put it on my pet. Bear in mind, my pet doesn't have any damage over time, so it can't make use of that. But that doesn't really matter. Okay, just put my pet on passive. The rotation. You want to open up with a Curse of Elements. Always have Curse of Elements on your target increases spell power or damage spell damage done to that target by 8%. Um ooh, just before I forget. Some people say it's better to use succubus than fell hunter, but I prefer fell hunter. I find that it scales better. I do more damage with it even when the succubus is glyph, so I'd always stick to the fell hunter. Um anyway, where was I? Rotation. Yes. You want to open with a horn then Unstable Affliction, Corruption, and Bane of Agony. Now, um, as Affliction, it doesn't matter too much how you open. This is just the way I like to do it. I find it's uh, the simplest way I have. And uh, as, you, as you see, as I dot up the target, um, a little thing will appear here telling me how long my dots have got to the tick-off. This is called Dot Timer. It's explained in a number of TGN's videos. Um, very useful look it up um, it just saves me a hell of a lot of stuff it means I don't have to keep glancing at the dummy to see my dots okay as affliction um, the basis for your DPS is keep your dots up while getting as much nuke time in as possible um, you want to try and time your dots so they hit just before they expire um, it's quite a skillful art. It takes, it will take you a long, long while to master this. But once you have, you be, you can pull off incredible DPS. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little mock rotation here. So we've got our horn, unstable affliction, corruption, and bane of agony. Now you can see here, this is where they all tick off. And ooh, I got an eradication proc. Just ignore that. 
And you see Haunt's about to get off, so I reapply that slightly too late, even now. It, um, it takes a while to master this, even for me. Okay, on the time Haunt again. And you also want to have a Shadow Bolt on the target. If you have a look. Yeah, you see, we've got three stacks of Shadow Embrace. Your Haunt can keep this up. And you've got Shadow and Flame. You want to make sure this is always up on the target. And as you see, you want to keep your dots up. Um, haunt is really important. Um, uh, only try and time this just before it expires if you're really good at doing that. Because if not, it's just it's so important to keep Shadow and Brace up. It's just it's just not worth it. So if you're not if you're not too comfortable with it, just just use Haunt as soon as it comes off cooldown. Okay. We've got our dots up. Now we nuke the target with Drain Life. Drain Life does a lot of damage. Some people prefer to use Shadow Bolt, but Drain Life is definitely better. Drain Life scales with um, your mastery. It scales with more affliction spells than Shadow Bolt, and the only thing you want to use Shadow Bolt for is Shadow and Flame. Okay, so that's just a little mock rotation to see how it goes. Affliction is complicated. As you can see, my mana is close to running out. That's why we've got Life Tap. And as you see, Life Tap just restores a hell of a lot of mana. And um, I didn't even send my pet in. Um, now I'm going to show you guys what Affliction DPS looks like. Uh, I'm just going to open up Recouch. Okay. This is going to be a DPS as you've seen it, and um, one more thing I got to mention. This spell here, Demon Soul. Um, this is the Warlock 85 spell, and what it does is it gives you a buff if you use it with a certain pet. So if you see here, when you use it with the Fell Hunter, periodic shadow damage increased by 20%. Um, so you want to use this pretty much whenever it's off cooldown, so just um, just use it, you don't need to, I don't know, time it for when the boss goes mad or anything. Okay, so let's see this DPS test, gonna put my pet on defensive right here. Open with a Curse of the Elements. So we've got Haunt, Unstable Affliction, Corruption, Bane of Agony, Shadow Bolt for good measure, and reapply Haunt, and I'm going to start casting Drain Life. Now, if you see what I'm doing, I'm trying to time my dots so they land exactly, exactly almost before they finish. The important thing to remember as Affliction is the more Drain Life you can do, the better your DPS will be. But if you have to choose between using a Drain Life or keeping your dots up, choose the dots. Dots are more important. And uh, as you can see here, Drain Life is not a perfect fit. In many times, you will have to cancel casting it in order to get uh, different spells up. But it generally works pretty well. It's quite fun to use. And I'm just going to continue this video for some time. Uh, come back and show you guys what my final number was. Okay, and we're back. Um, now, the number on recount says uh, 6,900 DPS, but don't let that fool you. Um, because the dots ticked off, it was obviously lower, but when I stopped, it was around 7,700, uh, 7,600. Um, so, yeah, pretty high. Let's go and have a look at the numbers here. Now, the ability that did most damage was uh, Drain Life. And you see here, it's Drain Life is actually a dot, and that's why it benefits so well from other uh, Affliction abilities. Um, we have Corruption as our second highest, then Unstable Affliction, and um, Bane of Agony, Haunt, and last but not least, uh, Shadow Bolt. And if you look for the three main dots, their sort of crit hit ratio is almost identical. Um, so that is an Affliction Warlock DPS rundown. I don't think I've forgotten everything, anything. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy the guide, guys. Uh, guide, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe, 
and I'm going to be bringing out the other two warlock videos. Uh, just before I go, my if you want to send me an email, my email address is ned406 at gmail.com. Just type that out for you. Ugh, I can't even spell my own name. And if you, or if you want to come and give me a buzz, or I play on the realm EU Alonsus, Deslin, level 85 Horde Warlock, or Nyaria, level 85 Alliance Shaman. Anyway, I hope to see you guys soon. Also, if there's any particular videos you guys want to see, just post, just post it in the comments. Uh, post what you would like to see me filming in WoW. This has been Ned406 from TGN.TV signing off. Have a good one, guys.